Sorry, I lied. In the last live stream, I said I was going to live stream from Tokyo, but I am still in Matsuyama. I had a little bit of time before I leave for Tokyo, so I decided to do a one more live stream in the countryside of Japan. Uh, guess where we're at? We are at... At my school! I don't think I have showed you the exterior of my school but the yellow sign that's my school anyway so we are going to explore around my school area which is oh hi <laughs> <Ohayou gozaimasu. laughs> um so we are going to explore a little bit about like um a city area of matsuyama even though I, uh, I said Matsuyama is such a countryside with like mountains and the rivers and oceans and rice fields, which is true, but we do have some buildings. Hello, hi, <laughs> good morning. I prefer you live outside of home rather than inside. Alive? Uh, yeah, 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 I thought so. Good morning. So I started a little late. I was out until what midnight last night. I was working on a little project with my friends. Uh, it went very good. Um, it's not my project. Hi, hey guys. It's not my project. That's my friend's project. Uh, do you remember Jasmine? Uh, she has been in my video for uh, quite some times. Uh, but yeah, we are doing uh, some interpreter jobs. Uh, for particular events uh, that involves uh, foreign tourists to Matsuyama and so I, it's not my project so I can't really you know tell the details on it uh, though I did on Patreon a little bit <laughs> but it's a little windy today so I hope you can hear me but uh, I'm gonna show you it around is it getting hot now in Japan yes it's getting a little warm, so I don't have to wear like a jacket or anything. There's the ambulance coming in. Ambulance! So this is one of the biggest streets. It's ha It has like three, four lanes on each side. Uh, like if you compare with like Tokyo uh, streets and it's tiny street, but like in the countryside, it's, it's kind of connected. Uh, to everywhere. You can go to the, the city side, the downtown, or you can go to the mountains. Uh, everyone, everywhere is kind of connected by this street. So, and then there is the, uh, the big hospital nearby. So you see a lot of ambulances. And yeah, the temperature wise, it's warm. I can wear a lighter coat today instead of having like a jacket over it. So, hi everyone. Does Jasmine, yeah, doesn't Jasmine have a... Uh, ah, yes! Cute things problem! Yes, yes, yes! It was like how many years ago? So my friend Jasmine, she's half Japanese and half Canadian. She lives in Matsuyama and we does like some uh, English businesses together or we did the non-profit organization together. Uh, but uh, so uh, she has a weird thing like cute aggression that's what it's called and she um she has a tendency to fe like feel the urge of crushing something when it's too cute for her i don't know if any of you have something similar but hope to see jasmine in your uh, in your live in the future yeah maybe yeah she's probably up for it she actually has a youtube channel right now she's doing some like a reaction videos uh with her uh biz business partner i would say so yeah japan is so clean yes so you don't really see any garbage laying around this is like main street as i said but uh yeah um like even if you see some like trash or something or like the like truck most of the time it's truck the drop like gloves or something on the road the next time you pass by it's gone 
uh, I think like the city itself, like uh, the city hall or something would take care of it. Or like you can just like go ahead and call in and say, hey, like I saw like a really uh, big garbage uh, in the middle of the street and then they'll take care of it right away. So it is very clean. Uh, it's not only just this countryside, but like it, in, even in Tokyo or Osaka or a big city too. So anyway, so this is uh, one of the big shopping mall. Oh. I had like a long, sorry. So this is like a semi big um, shopping mall that we have in the area. The Edion is the, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, the electronics store. And then they have some like a clothes shopping. And then uh, having the, uh, the parking lot in the inside the building is probably like very countryside stuff that you might not see any free parking lots in Tokyo. The Tokyo is very crowded. Hopefully she did not crush a cute animal. She doesn't. She doesn't. She go like, ah, so cute. And then that's it. So, so let's just go Jopla. I don't know what that stands for, but uh, yeah. And then this is Pachinko. Do you guys know what Pachinko is? If you're familiar with Japanese um, culture, then you might know. It's like a, it's technically gambling. It's slot machines, and I've never been in there. Long time ago, anyone could technically go in, but you can only play. I think once you become 18 or 20, because like you have to bet on it, right? So like um, betting is against the law in Japan. You can't, uh, uh, where is the gamble? Gambling is against the law. However, pachinko is kind of gambling because you buy uh, the little balls to play with, like pinballs kind of thing. Uh, it's not like I'd ever played before, so I have no idea. Uh, good morning, everyone. Doo doo, that's a cute character. Is that like uh, some sort of character? I don't know. Anyway, Indonesia, oh, cool. I guess Ehime is not having population decline problem, good to see. Ah, uh, I think we are facing the, the population decline a little bit, but it's not severe. As I said, um, there are, well, Matsuyama city alone, we have over 500,000 people. So we have quite a big number of uh, children, families, uh, elderly, so... No horse racing? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. It's only like slot machines. And then like if you win, like my grandpa used to love going to Pachinko. He always go there, but uh, you know, he doesn't want to take us there because um, I don't know about now though before you were able to like smoke not drinking but like you can smoke inside and so the uh, the air is really bad for the children so like I never been there it's just like I've seen it uh, seen pachinko from outside so we have the ramen shop like see we have some stuff in the let's go in there let's go away from the big street so the big street i was uh, showing around big city sorry <laughs> it's a tiny road oh vending machine vending machine tour so this is the ramen shop like when uh outside of like all the uh, shops and restaurants like they tend to have like vending machines but do you see anything like I don't like this sports water thingy uh, because it's like very very sweet like I prefer like Pokari sweat or Aquarius or something my cousin said that pachinko is quite addictive yeah like a lot of people say that we are the professional pachinko player oh cream soda So windy. No, I'm not near the city, uh, not city, the, near the sea at all, but today's a little windy. 
I was worried about the weather though because uh, yesterday was pouring rain and then tomorrow it's going to be rain as well. So I kind of forgot to check the weather before I set up the date. I did for the last time, but this is a last minute uh, live stream that I decided because like as I said uh, in the last live stream that I was going to a uh, live stream from Tokyo, not in Matsuyama because I have to go apartment hunting at the end of this month. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna show you guys like how I'm gonna apartment hunt and then like I'm gonna talk about the area I might be living in, yada yada yada. And then I was like, you know what? I have like a day off and on oh, Monday. So I was just gonna squeeze one more in and I'm just gonna walk around, talk to you guys. And this is kind of the apartment that you usually get under your budget. Hey, Matsuyama. I would estimate mm, this is like close to the shopping mall and whatnot. I think I would say it's like four hundred to six hundred dollars per month. So it's pretty cheap, right? You can't get anything decent in Tokyo under like mm, I would say like eight hundred or even like thousand. Oh, Norm! <laughs> it's a Sherry's. I was at Norm. <laughs> So, have you started apartment hunting in Tokyo? Kinda! Uh, there is a yeah, app, of course, uh, called Sumo or something. I saw, I, like, it looks like Sumo, but it's not Sumo. Um, <laughs> hi, Mr. Norm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, I am looking at some um, areas and apartments on the app, but you have to kind of go to the real estate agency. Uh, if you want to get the great deal, you can't just like decide it online. So that's why I'm heading out to Tokyo. This is a very new house. Look at that. So like this is kind of common that you see in the countryside. Like normal uh, businessman. You don't have to be very um, like rich or anything to get in a nice house, like brand new house like this. So you can like actually sit down with the designer and you can like um, custom made each floor and materials and then everything like that. Oh, that's a very interesting looking. Is that a garage? I don't know if it's a garage or it's a, it's a garage. The black part is a garage. So. What is this place? And then the, I don't know if it's a daycare or the nursing home, but like you also see a lot of like, if you see like a cute looking sign, like here, can you see that? I think uh, it's kind of hard to tell like which one it is, but like if you see a little cute sign outside, then usually it's a daycare or the, uh, the nursing home. And it's very spacious compared to ones in Tokyo. Um, in the countryside, like I went to the kindergarten. Oh, Tokyo Lens, thank you. <laughs> Wanted to get those super chest started because morning expense, <laughs> a moving is expensive. Thank you. Thank you for chipping in for my move, move to Tokyo, especially between cities. It is. Yeah, I'm very afraid of like um, in Japan, like if you move into the new apartment, you have to pay the uh, initial cost, not just rent or like thank you money uh, to the landlord and they cost a very good amount of money. Uh, vending machine check. I used to love this uh, Koo drink when I was a kid. I don't know, like they had like a like a cute... Oh! A cane? Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. <laughs> Following Norm's lead, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So yeah, I really loved Koo drink. They had like a cute commercial and I was like, oh, I want to drink Koo. Will your mother move together? No, 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 no. Yeah, she hates city. So yeah, I am trying to get away from her. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, so see like you see a lot of um, um, house. This is like a modern style and then that would be like old style. Like a Showa style.
car. So this kind of looks like a small, small street. And then if you want to live in like this kind of apart apartment, then it will be a little cheaper than the one before. So nowadays, a lot of people say like those are just apartments uh, in Japanese, but like originally we called these apartments, but like a little bit tall ones, not like the, the gray one, but like even taller ones, we call it mansion. So I remember when I was teaching adults before, um, when we talk, you know, ask questions around and they're like, so do you live in an apartment or a house, let's say, and then they would say, oh, I live in a mansion. I was like, yeah, you don't want to say mansion because then in English, people think that you were super rich. You know, like, oh, you live in a mansion, do you have like a pool, and do you have like, you know, like this is this is this, so. Oh, I wouldn't know I'm sharing if it wasn't for Tokyo Lens, Oh, So, Lomi's helping. <laughs> anyway, so there is some electrician or something just passing by, interesting. And so I, even though I said that this is my school area, not, it doesn't mean that I know this area. I didn't know they had like many tiny apartments around this area though. So, and I don't know where I'm heading at. So uh, in case you didn't notice, I don't have any uh, sense, sense of direction. So I easily get lost. My youngest brother is worse, the worst of the family, but uh, I'm still bad. Uh, I don't think there's any apartments in the US city that's $400 or less per month. Yeah, I thought so. Japan can be very affordable if you know where to go, where to live. So, uh, um, this area, I mean, we do have public tra transportation. Oh, where's your gimbal? Uh, it collapsed in the first couple of minutes. I tried it. I tried to like balance and everything. But yeah, so I'm like hand holding the phone. So no gimbal today. Anyway, where are we going? <laughs> I have no idea. But, uh, oh, there's a dog. So yeah, so like if you wanna like own a pet, or if you want to get a, a car or something. And then, yeah, like Matsuyama is a pretty good place to live. Or like if you want to have a big family or something. Because like your houses will be um, spacious, more room. And then once you get a car, you can pretty much go anywhere without hitting a heavy traffic within 30 minutes to the city, to the mountain, to the sea, everything. Are you going to bring your car with you <laughs> to Tokyo? No, I won't do that. Um, if I want to keep my car in Tokyo, then that would cost probably more than getting at a decent apartment. So there is a weird vending machine. This is why I like looking at vending machines. Oh, this is Okonomiyaki vending machine. I never seen that. Like I've seen like a motsunabe or like a gyoza, but like, wow, how much is it? Oh, it's pretty cheap too. Six dollars, like less than six dollars because of the currency, huh? Oh, and then this is the vending machine that is coming from a different uh, prefectures. So it's not all. Uh, this is like Kyoto, Kyoto. All Kyoto, so they might like uh, change, uh, like sometimes, like one time, like once it's Kyoto, once it's like Hiroshima or something like that. Interesting, I've never seen that. And then the regular one. Yeah, not a gimbal. Yeah, the gimbal worked fine last time, but the first time was just like this. But the first time, I didn't know how to properly use gimbal, so I didn't balance it uh, properly when I started. 
uh, today I did it, and last time it worked fine. And so I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't worried, but then I should have worried. My cousin is just right about outside of Tokyo, and she have her rent for less, uh, for a much special place. Yeah, uh, if you want to live in like Chiba or Saitama or something like that, then yes. Apartments can be a lot cheaper and then maybe double or triple the size of Tokyo. However, you have to face uh, over one hour of commute uh, to Tokyo if you are working or going to school in Tokyo. So I don't know if that's worth it. And also, it'll be crowded train. So like it's packed. Right? So, it's a sign of buying a new gimbal. It's not that like this gimbal is broken or anything. It's just like, you know, balancing on the gimbal is a little difficult. Like you need some, like a technique, you know. Oh, now I know where I am. Okay, so I was like, okay, so I see this like a clinic here. And then now I saw this uh, hospital. Um, this hospital is very close to my school, so now I know. Once I had to rush to this hospital because because I had a asthma attack, but uh, yeah, that's why that's why I know. <laughs> this uh, hospital is pretty good because it, they open on Sundays, so not so many hospitals are open on Sundays. And then uh, if you want to go to the uh, hospital on Sunday, either you have to call the ambulance or you have to look up uh, which hospital is open on that day. They take turns. Me and people can be naughty too, yeah. I was watching a video about gachas and in my mind, uh, my mind got fried when they put the gacha and there is a woman undergarment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, if you go to that kind of like, uh, weird district, then yes, they might have that kind of thing. I haven't ever seen those in person, but yeah, I've I've seen it all on like YouTube or something. So, and then they have, they usually, in Japan, you usually have a pharma pharmacy right across the street or inside the hospital. So picking up your medication is pretty easy. However, the doctor doesn't prescribe you enough most of the time. I think it's the law that you like to prevent people to sell prescribed drugs. But uh, sometimes like getting, going to the doctor once isn't quite enough to fully recover from the flu or whatever you have. Um, but uh so you have to you might want to come back a couple times but going to the doctor is ridiculously cheap in japan so yeah like that's one of the things my uh staff was surprised when he uh came to japan for the first time and I, it would be because like he's working for me, right? So I can issue him a, uh, the insurance, health insurance. Like it's the same deal as Japanese citizens because he works full time. And then that covers everything from like normal, like, uh, doctors, or uh, if you need to get like a surgery or something, or if you need to uh, treat a uh, cavity, so dental. So everything is only like, uh 30% that you have to cover so the government would cover 70% of that so oh in canada is free doctor visits really i thought that was like only in europe or something so this is one of the other big there's <laughs> i was gonna show the sign and i was like it's covered in the black sheet so this is eon so eon is nationwide so nothing special about Inaka the countryside but this is one of the uh, pretty decent supermarkets what town is it uh, this is Matsuyama and I'm gonna head north so okay so uh, there is an intersection over there 
And the other day, like was it a month ago? I think a month ago, I was doing a uh, little trial lesson for a new student, and it was on Sunday. So my staff was staff wasn't there. So I was uh, covering for him, and then I finished the lesson. I went outside of my school, and I saw the ambulance flipped over in the middle of the intersection. I didn't hear anything. Like I, my school is right across the street from the intersection. However, I didn't hear anything like you know crash, nothing. I was probably like very focused or something. However, yeah, Europe is free, right? Yeah, I knew that, but I didn't know about Canada. And then I, like, there was like a mini cop cars, and then fire trucks, and then you know, like, people are rushing, like doctors and nurses are rushing from the hospital. We just saw, and I'm like, oh, that's bad. And later on, I found out that there was the old driver who didn't see the ambulance was coming. He didn't hear the siren or anything, and then he basically. Crashed into the the ambulance who was crossing. Oh, Yoshi! Thank you. Hey, Jerry. I love watching your content. Thank you so much. Enjoy nice weather and have some cool. Yeah, I will. I definitely will. But yeah, and then so the the old old、uh, old driver, but he's like sixty five or something. He's not too old. Uh, but crashed into the、uh, the ambulance, which was crossing the、uh, the street, and then it got toppled over, and he was actually carrying a、uh, old guy and his wife. So no one got severely injured, so that was good. But it was a、uh, chaos, and then that caused a heavy heavy traffic on that day. So I just remember that. <laughs> Yeah, the old one. Yeah, I think. That, yeah, no one got like severely injured. So, like,、um, I think the news, Japanese news, would say something when they have,、uh, when the, when anyone is at least like broke their bones or something, and then that count as like severe injury, and then they really have to report that. So. Yeah, the other place that the old man like that ha- like that happens many、uh, times in Japan. That old people drive and then like they lose control of the car and they crash into something. And the it was in the other city, but the the old guy、uh, lost his his、uh, control of his car and then crashed into some other van. And then he broke every single bone of his body. Pretty much, it's scary. And then he lost his wife. So that was、uh, kind of sad. Oh, there's a little doggy. I don't want to go too close. So this is like a typical way of Jap-、uh, Japanese people. <gasps> he's awake. He might bark.、Uh, he's a little old, so he might be calm. Yeah, to like have the dog outside, especially like Shiba or like any other Japanese、uh, breed. Still a little windy. Oh, I hear train. So I, one of my friends. Do you have Uber? Yeah, we have. Ah,、uh, you mean like the、uh, the car Uber, not Uber Eats, right? Uh, we don't have Uber not only in the countryside but the entire Japan because Uber, like、uh, unlicensed driver carrying passenger around, is actually illegal in Japan. We before Uber we had a thing called Shirotaku, and、uh, Taku is、uh, Taku stands for a taxi. I don't know why they say Shiro like white,、uh, but. Shirotaku is similar to Uber, that they are not licensed, and so、uh, in Japan, when you get a driver's license, 
you get a、uh, certain kind of license, right? So when you want to carry people around and、uh, charge money for it, then you have to get the、uh, the other kind of license. You have to take the test, and then you have to pass certain law or something. So、um, Uber kind of ignores the law itself. And I think we imported Uber once, but then that they disappeared very, very quickly. There's still arguments though that we should change the law, but I don't know. Where are we gonna have lunch? Yeah, I'm like, a, like I'm walking around and at the same time I'm trying to find my friend's restaurant. It's not open yet. She said this is her grand grand opening is like next month or something. Another vending machine. Oh, I prefer this like gogo no kocha over the other kind of kocha. There are two different kind of milk tea, but I prefer this one. And I keep seeing this satsumaimo milk. Satsumaimo, so sweet potato milk. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. All the buildings look modern. Where I lived, all the houses are 19th century or older. Yeah, I guess so. It's a mixture of old buildings. Like those are very old, right? So kind of mixture of or like this dry cleaner is pretty old. So everything's got a mixture of modern and、uh, old buildings. I'm trying to head to the train station. So、um, I, one of my friends, she's from Sri Lanka. Am I saying right? And then、uh, she is working towards opening her shop, like a restaurant. So and then it's near my school. And I know it's like around this area, but it's not like I have looked up online. So. I don't know. They have like a weird karaoke shop. This is a weird karaoke shop. You know, karaoke box in Japan is like more flashy and then kind of like a、mm, like a tall building and lots of rooms. But like, look at it. Like the door is even like half open, maybe. Ay 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 ay. But like, also it says it has the name of sake, so maybe it's like a. Do you know snack bar? So it's a bar, but like more casual bar. So they, those bars tend to have karaoke inside. So that might be it. Can you hear the train inside the mansions? Yeah. When your mansion is right next to the train track, you can pretty much hear it. So that's one of the reason why、uh, mansions like that. It looks brand new and a tall, right? But sometimes you get a big,、uh, good deal because you constantly, constantly hear the noise of the train. This is also pretty new, and then they are doing something here. I don't know if they are tearing down or remodeling, but it's pretty old. In Japan, we have a lot. Oh, Thank you. Can't stay long as it is getting late here. Oh,、uh, Montreal! But keep up with the live streams. Thank you. Looking forward to them when I can catch them. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Ah,、oh, you didn't see any convenience store. Ah,、uh, we passed by one convenience store. But ah,、uh, I think one more is coming up soon. Oh, this is like a wow! What is this? Los Angeles Cola. Have you ever seen that? This is like more、um, like a Showa style, not the new ones. They have hair salon, and then that's the train track. So the, this station is the closest train station. From my school, 
we took a detour, so it took a little longer. It's been like 30 minutes, but I would say it takes like 10 minutes. So it's still a little bit of a walk, but it's not too bad for countryside. So are much cheaper next to the station or more expensive uh, since it is more convenient? I would say it should be more expensive, but if there is, if it contains any sort of a noise problem, then it might be a little cheaper. And then lately in Japan, this type of uh, gym is very like 24 hours, uh, sometimes staff less, convenience store looking <laughs> gym is very popular. 7-Eleven, Family Mart. Yeah, we have Family Mart here. We used to have 7-Eleven here, but they closed. I don't know why, because it's right next to the station. What's <laughs> up, people? Yeah, uh, there are more people than I thought. It's Monday, so mostly elderly people, but... The good thing about the countryside, that even if I'm feeling like this, they don't say anything. They don't yell at me, they don't like look weirdly or anything like that. They just ignore, like, oh, she's like doing something weird. So... Yeah, they are doing some sort of like Doraemon thing. <laughs> well, this is Family Mart. I, 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 um, <laughs> I, um, uh, I like this chocolate called Black Sender. It's like a, it has like a little cookie chunks in it. And they have tiramisu, uh, they have ice cream, they have. I know, sh uh, cream puffs, cookies. Yeah, I have to come back and I get it. Probably only at Family Mart. They have dance studio there. <laughs> Queen dance. A shako dance. Shako dance. What is it called? Like the like a woman and the, the man pair up with a flashy uh, costume and then dance together, like a tango or something like that. Like a like very competitive dance. I don't know what it's called. What's the price range for a hair salon? Good question. Uh, if you are a student, you can get a, a discount. Uh, so probably like to like just to get a cut that's like 2,000 yen or something um, but as an adult if you have longer hair then they charge you extra so I have semi long hair so when I go for just to trim that's like 4,000 yen and then if I want to uh, dye my hair as well and then that would be over a hundred dollar Population there is 500,000 and then we're rural town is the USA is like 10,000, yeah. Only 13 likes? What? Hit the like button! There's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. Of, uh, I, thought, I thought they were selling rabbits or something. Pet shop is still legal in Japan, so sometimes they have uh, uh, rabbits selling rabbits and whatnot. Oh, this is an old look. Oh, Larry, thank you! But, uh, a ballroom dancing! There we go, thank you! Hope it brings you luck in Tokyo. Oh, early day, thank you! They have tiny ATM. That's an ATM. There's a guy just parked the bike and then he just went in and was like, what the hell is that? Oh, that's an ATM. Yeah, this is old looking, tiny post office. I should turn around, but then there's no like crossing. 
Button people, yes, button people. Give me likes, give me likes. Okay, I should turn around a bit. You know what? <laughs> it's like going around and around and around. It's okay. I can keep going. See, like these are kind of like old buildings. So we do have some old buildings. This is a new uh, company that I don't know what they do, but like I see this kind of sign every freaking where. Like it's almost annoying. What is that? Is that a house? Like apartment? It's like really long. So this is, I guess, kind of residential area. So you can by just like walking and then see those signs. This is like we are accepting a new tenant sign or the flag. So by walking around, you can see like you can look around the atmos atmosphere of the like of the area and everything. And then you can see like, oh, maybe I like this one. And then you can just like go ahead and contact the local real estate agent. So now this is like very, very, <laughs> very, very countries. Uh, not countryside, the residential area. All right, I'm going to get out of this area. Okay. Yeah, anyway, so I've been looking. Hold on. Sorry, my, my Game Boy is broke. <laughs> yes. So um, yeah, I'm keeping looking. I keep looking around the uh, like apartment choices over the internet, and hopefully next week I'll go to Tokyo to actually see things in person. So hope I hope that I can like narrow it down and then maybe decide which one I want to live in. But uh, are you using umbrella? No, no, I'm not using umbrella. It's not hot. It's cold. It's very cold. So, no, I don't have to wear the umbrella. I don't use the umbrella. I know a lot of Japanese people uh, use umbrella to avoid the sun heat. But, yeah, I'm not doing that yet. Anyway, so, next week for about two weeks, I'll be in Tokyo. And definitely, I'm going to make a, a time to do not only one live stream, but maybe a couple of live streams. So if you haven't, uh, click the, uh, the subscribe button and then also make sure the notification bell is on and I'll see you next time. Sorry for the gimbal. <laughs> I can't end it. Here we go. Ah, bye.